what did you think when, when you saw the schedule at the beginning of the season and you see December 30th, first Big 12 game, Texas? Here? Well, I thought it was really early because uh, normally Pac-12, we started in January. But I was really excited. It's a great way to uh, head into the new year, so I'm really excited for that. Was Texas a team you followed growing up, their women's basketball team? Uh, yes, they actually were. Back when they had uh, Brittany Raven, Ashley Fontenet, you know, those kind of players. Um, they were exciting, and obviously they're only an hour away from home, and my sister happened to play at UT um, for volleyball. So we were up there quite a bit, so they were one of my uh, favorite teams growing up. Did you go to any camps there growing um, up at all? I didn't really go to any basketball camps, but you know, I, I went to a lot of their games where I watched it on TV, um, and I took some unofficials there, so I was I was always around, sort of. Have you played with or against any of the players on their roster, AAU or anything like that? Um, I've only played against Imani, I think, but that was in um, club back in club days. Um, we had a Boo Williams tournament, so I remember playing against her there. But the new ones now, no. Um, back when they had NECA, uh, she was on my uh, club team actually, so okay. I, I had some familiarity there, but these ones not too familiar with. Obviously, Imani at 6'7", she's going to be a factor in right. any game she plays. How, how do you approach a player like that? Uh, you, you know what she can do defensively in blocking shots and yeah. offensively. You have to be aggressive against her, against her, take it to her, maybe try to draw some fouls. Oh, yeah, it. definitely. Well. My thing is, you know, you got to focus on their weaknesses, and obviously lateral movement isn't uh, a strength for many big people. So if we can just get her on the move or, you know, try to attack her early and get her in foul trouble, I think we could definitely get her out the game early. Um, she also, she really can alter some shots, so we've got to figure out a way to get around her. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to go through her, but if we could just get away, figure out a way to go around or get her away from the paint a little bit, it will open um, some easy shots up. There's, I think they're holding teams to like 51 points a game, which is yeah. pretty pretty impressive mm -hmm. I mean, at this point. Yeah. Uh, is it? I know Coach Kerry talked last night about a little too much standing around, maybe not enough ball reversal. Obviously, you're going to have to do. Yes. You're going to have to move the ball tomorrow night, right? Oh yes. So uh, we got caught doing that yesterday. Uh, actually, being very stagnant um, and not even getting. We weren't even fluid at all. Um, so we got to definitely work on that today, continue to get ball reversals, be on the same page, because um, we weren't really like that yesterday. But I think if we can you know, continue to shift their defense and get them off and catch them when they're off guard, I think we have a really good shot at scoring more than 51 points. Right. You like the sh you know, getting a shot at the number five team this early in the conference season? Oh, yeah. You know, think that uh, you know, they'll be a lot better in another month, and maybe this is a good time to play a a top five. Oh, it definitely is. I mean, it's good for, you know, playing, obviously, because they're not at their peak yet, but neither are we, so we get to see exactly where we are, you know, heading into the rest of conference play, because we'll have, you know, we've got 18 total conference uh, games to go, and getting out early and figuring out where exactly you stand, I think, leaves, I don't know, give you a good idea of where exactly you are, where you need to go um, to get better. And I'm really excited for them. Okay, thank you. Thanks.